Paranoid Android is here after a long time and yes I used it Paranoid Android customer maybe more than three months ago or maybe more this is just one of the good stable custom rooms out there available for many devices and we have installed the latest update on our Mio Tool device which is Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. As expectedly, it's based on Android version 11 Ruby 1 Day, which has the May security patch. We didn't got the June security patch yet, but May security patch isn't too old. So one of the must try custom rooms, as I previously mentioned, is one of the most stable custom rooms out there. This is actually a stability focused custom room basically. So that's why I use this build on my device. First of all, in the default UI, if you swipe up from the left side or swipe up from the right side on the bottom, you will see Google Assistant. Also the pill size is changed if you noticed. In other USB based rooms, you don't get this sized pill, but here you have different size of pill available. You can also use the immersive navigation option, which is available in the settings, but it's up to you. Looks quite good. So that's why I'm using it on my device. I thought I should share with you my opinions about this one. Now, moving on to some other things. This is the default quick settings panel which you get here. I have chosen the SN color. This has some default themes available for you three or four themes you can choose them if you want to also in the recording side we have the normal screen recorder available for you which includes the record audio and show touches on screen doesn't get any kind of advanced options in this default screen recorder but you can use any other screen recorder there are many options available for you as if you don't know in paranoid android you mostly get this kind of wallpapers app here which is called abstract which is available on the google play store for free but this is pre-installed here so yes we have many kind of wallpapers available for you like official oneplus wallpapers blend wallpapers and as you can see these wallpapers looks quite good and you can download and install them without paying any kind of penny so it looks good and yes i sometimes use these wallpapers these looks quite good in the Geekbench score, if you want to measure the Geekbench score and want to check it out that how is the Geekbench score going on, we have 539 as the single core score and 1623 is the multi-core score which is a decent enough score. I actually don't believe in these scores because real performance matters I always say in my videos but yes still we still need to verify these scores and compare them 162 is 1623 is the multi core and 539 is the single core score which you get here by default you get the gcam go pre installed so this is actually good it's far more better than the normal snapdragon camera so yes it's good that we have the gcam go pre installed but yes gcam go is normal and basic camera it's better to try out the normal gcam and this is the gcam which i'm using here in my device i'm using the normal gcam 8.1 which is mgc 8.1 and you can use that you can also use the gcam by parrot gcam other options we have like butcher gcam and others but the gcam seems to be working fine i tried camera video portrait everything else was just working good this is the gcam which i'm using and if you want this gcam you can simply comment below i will try to provide the link in the description also or i will try to provide you in the comment section if you want this gcam link CPU throttling test right now it is in trending or you can see most of the times the custom room users want to check it out the CPU throttling test and unfortunately it's not touching at 100% most of the times so this is actually actually not accepted but yes we have this what we have and if you still think it's quite good make sure to try out this build on your device this is actually a google apps build so you don't need to install google apps separately for that in my case, I'm using the latest Magic Squish in Magic 23. Magic 23 always has this good options available for you. You can install this as an APK file or you can install this as a zip file. I have a dedicated proper guide that how you can install Magic 23 on your device. The safety status is passing and this is actually good. If you don't use Magic Squish on your device, safety net status will be directly passed without using any kind of module. But yes, if you use Magic Squish on your device, I'm not using any kind of third party module here, but still, if you move on to the settings and see the hide magisk option yes you need to enable the magisk hide in settings because without enabling magisk hide you will not be able to pass the safety net status and if you will not be able to pass the safety net status unfortunately you will not be able to use the banking apps on your device so if you want to use banking apps magisk hide is must 
and if you want to use magisk of course safeness status you definitely need to pass if you want to use banking apps on your device these are the things you get about magisk and else also let me share with you one more thing if you move on to your google play store go here click on settings and if you go go to the about section play protect certification the device is certified if device is certified in the play store it's actually quite good this is why i'm using this build on my device because everything seems to be good everything seems to be working fine paranoid android is a very good and stable custom room for now i didn't got any kind of major bugs till now but i'm not sure even it it has the screen of gestures which you can use on your device if you want to and apps and notification center of course notification history battery section and battery backup seems to be decent enough i didn't got any kind of major issues in my battery backup also display styles and wallpapers of course styles and wallpapers includes four styles pre-installed as i previously mentioned and you can also customize own style you can make your own style it's up to you you can theme you can choose any color what color you love to use it comes with only one extra font or one default font default and second one is google sense which you get pre-installed but everything else is just same like that if you move on to some other things for example icon manager you can adjust these icons which you want on your device or which you want to hide on your device last but not the least we also includes the app locker and this app locker is you are getting in other custom rooms also everything else is just same and my link is in the description as i previously mentioned you this is all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day Like I'm floating through the air